Online storage is something most people using devices as simple as a smartphone understand. And on devices as small as your iPhone, you always want more space to use all sort of applications. Looking at this from a broader perspective, let's say you need online storage space for a device or some huge files such as applications, fifth thing that comes to mind is Google, Amazon, and Microsoft. However, Arweave is software that seeks to store files permanently across a distributed network of computers. Its goal is to build something not unlike the fabulous library of Alexandria, in this case they are building a digital archive that persists in perpetuity. Today we are discussing Arweave, what the project is all about, how it works, and the AR tokenomics. But before we dig deep into this, kindly note that this video is sponsored by the like button, so please hit that like button. And if you like Web3 content, then hit that subscribe button, we have amazing content coming your way. Subscribing it's also one of the best ways to support our hard work. Now, without further ado, let's get right to it. Arweave was originally named Archine in 2017, but it rebranded in 2018 when the Arweave team was accepted to participate in the startup accelerator Techstars. At its core, Arweave is a decentralized storage network or DSN that connects people who have extra available computer disk space with those who need more computer storage. Designed to provide scalable, cost-effective, and permanent data storage. Furthermore, Arweave is built on a blockchain-like data structure called the Blockweave. As such, Arweave has much in common with other decentralized storage platforms like Filecoin and Sia, both of which also use cryptocurrencies to create marketplaces for users who want to buy and sell data storage services. Like these ambitious protocols, Airweave is seeking to disrupt a market dominated by existing storage giants like Google, Amazon, and Microsoft. However, what sets Arweave apart from competitors is its commitment to permanently storing data through unique incentives built around its AR cryptocurrency. Arweave's design means that it should, in theory, enable people who store data to receive revenues, even after initial payments for its decentralized storage service are made. Furthermore, files stored on Arweave are accessible through traditional web browsers, meaning they don't require any special wallet or blockchain service. Other notable features in development include a voting mechanism that allow its users to moderate illicit content. Now that we understand what Arweave does, let's look into how Arweave work. Arweave is not exactly a blockchain. Instead of a chain of blocks that contains transactions and data, the typical design for most cryptocurrencies, Arweave stores its data in a graph of blocks. This means each block is linked to two earlier blocks in Arweave, forming a structure called a blockweave. This is in contrast to Bitcoin, where blocks are linked in order, forming a chain. This working system requires two important features. 1. Proof of access consensus. Airweave's design also means that the way it checks the accuracy of transactions is different than most cryptocurrencies. For instance, where Bitcoin asks computers on its network to compete to solve a mathematical puzzle using a process called proof-of-work, Airweave uses a different mechanism called proof-of-access. In short, Arweave requires each computer taking part in the network to check that a new bundle of transactions also contains a randomly selected marker from an earlier bundle. If that marker is present, then the new transactions can be added to the network. However, the computer that adds a new bundle is given a reward in the form of AR cryptocurrency. To put it in a better context, proof of access helps ensure that computers on the Arweave network can verify that all new transactions are accurate and that old transactions haven't been tampered with. The second is content moderation. Another interesting feature of the Arweave network is the ability for anyone running the software to choose the type of data they wish to store. This process is known as content moderation in Arweave. Put simply, computers on the network can decide what types of content they want to host. Perhaps they want to only host audio files and not images. As new content is uploaded to the network, Arweave will ask each computer whether it will accept the data. Still, there are incentives for performing more intensive data storage, as users who do will be rewarded by a greater percentage of transaction fees. Which is only fair, looking at the work they would probably put in. Now let's round this up by looking into the AR token. AR is the currency of the Arweave network. Users who wish to store data must buy AR to pay for distributed data storage, and computers on the network that provide storage services must accept payment in AR tokens. The number of AR tokens in circulation is limited to 66 million units. With a current market cap of $756,183,782, and currently selling at over $15. If you believe the web is overly reliant on centralized services like Amazon, Google, Microsoft or Alibaba for storage, then Arweave is a project that might interest you.
As opposed to competitors such as Filecoin and Sia, Arweave is focused on permanent storage. This means the AR token may be of interest if you believe digital data requires storage forever, similar to a traditional museum or library. Let us know what you think about Arweave in the comments section, also don't forget to let us know what you would like us to discuss on this channel. Please note that this is not a financial advice and it's for educational purpose only. Guys, like this video, subscribe to our channel, and share with your friends. We are trying to get 1000 subscribers, and the best way to support us is to smash that subscribe button. Thank you for watching. See you, next time.